Scientists in the UK have confirmed that a new variant of the coronavirus is spreading more rapidly in parts of England. So, what is it and how worried should we be? The new mutation is known as N501Y and the new strain has been named as VUI202012-01. Researchers say it is a mutation in the virus's spike protein found on its surface, the part that helps it infect cells. The new mutation has increased the protein's ability to cling onto and enter our cells. Scientists say this new mutation allows the virus to spread 70% faster than before. So, for example, in London, by mid-November, 28% of cases were as a result of this new mutation. But by mid-December, this increased to more than 60%. As of 13 December, 1,108 cases with this new variant have been identified predominantly in the south and east of England. But does this new increased transmissibility of the virus mean it's more deadly? Not really. So this virus transmits and spreads fast. Does it alter the disease, program, disease course? The answer seems to be no, as far as we can tell at the moment. There's no evidence it causes a more severe disease, causes more hospitalization, causes more trouble than the other virus. It's not uncommon for viruses to undergo mutations. Seasonal flu virus mutates every year. Variants of COVID-19 virus have been observed in other countries, such as Spain and Denmark. Scientists say it takes time and effort to understand the full impact of viruses' mutation. Mutations are a real important point. I wouldn't necessarily say point of concern for the coronavirus, but a really important point, because if the virus mutates, it could evade protection from the vaccine. People might be able to be reinfected again. And of course, there's always the potential for the, vac the virus to mutate and the way in which it causes disease to change. But this virus is very stable. We saw some mutations earlier on in the pandemic, likely as the virus was adapting to replication in people. But otherwise, there have been individual mutations clearly, but very few mutations that have sort of stuck within the virus and really changed it dramatically. So there is always this risk, but coronaviruses tend to be quite stable and we're not seeing a lot of change in the virus. So yes, this is a cause for real surveillance, but it's not a huge cause for concern. However, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson claims this new strain does not appear to impact the efficacy of the vaccine. There's no evidence to suggest the vaccine will be any less effective against uh, the new variant. Our experts will continue their work to improve our understanding as fast as we can. So we're learning about it as we go. The World Health Organization has said it is in touch with UK officials over this new variant of the COVID-19 virus. The new mutation of the virus has already forced some 21 million people in England and Wales into new lockdown restrictions. People have been told to stay at home, while non-essential shops and businesses have to close in some areas. When the virus changes its method of attack, uh, we as a, as a country have to change our method of defence and uh, that's what we're doing. 